Hello all, welcome back to another interesting story under the Ajadi Kamath Mahatsa story series by Mommy Show Musings. Today I'm going to talk about another interesting person uh, or the king uh, who is known to have used the uh, tactic of surgical strikes to conquer his enemies in the medieval history of India. You must be wondering, surgical strikes in the medieval history? I mean, you never heard about it, right? Even I never heard it till I uh, started researching about this uh, king. So, uh, come on, my dear friends. I will let us go to the 600th common area to meet this king, uh, who is none other than Lalita Aditya Muktapid from Kashmir, from Karkotaka dynasty. He is also known as Alexander of India. Surprising, isn't it? Why is this person being compared to Alexander of India? What did he do so much? If we have to talk about him, there are only three words that we can uh, uh, use three adjectives we can use to describe about this person, my dear friends. Undefeatable, insurmountable, uncom unconquerable. Surprising, isn't it? Yes. Come on, uh, let us go into his life history to understand for, uh, more details about him. As I already mentioned that Lalita Aditya Muktapid was born in the Karkotaka dynasty, which was ruling Kashmir at that point of time during seven, uh, uh, 700 common era time and he is actually the fifth emperor of the Karkotaka dynasty. He is born to Durlaba, uh, Durlaba Kanka and Narendra Prabha couple, uh, king and queen from the Karkotaka dynasty and he's, uh, as soon as he ascended the throne for the Karkotaka empire, his first war came, uh, happened with uh, the Kanoj kings. Kanoj is the place which is currently more or less occupying most of the UP, uh, Uttar Pradesh area. Uh, we all know about the famous Ashokarman from Kanoj kingdom, isn't it? So his first uh, his first victory is with uh, uh, is from the Ashokarman of Kanoj dynasty. And here the uh, historians say that uh, though he won the war with Ashokarman, he never treated him as an enemy. He made him an ally uh, to help him out in the further invasions and further conquests. And so there are two different opinions, whether that Ashwaman has become an ally, Ashwaman has become an enemy who has been subjugated by Lalita Aditya uh, Muktapit. But whatever it is, uh, he, after uh, uh, Lalita Aditya occupied, I mean, uh, one on uh, Ashwaman, he started con concentrating his uh, empire's expansion towards south, in, south of India. He went as far as Assam on the east side and down towards, he went, came to Orissa, Kalinga, Utkala. Uh, even he came up to the banks of Kaveri. He occupied the Chalukyas, Cholas and all the people. And uh, all along, and then again, he went up to Maratha Empire, uh, the uh, uh, Merwat, uh, and there, there he met a uh, in Meva, he met Bappa Rawal. And Bappa Rawal is so uh, brave and uh, big warrior, isn't it? Who is known in the Indian history all along. So he didn't conquer, he didn't enter into Meva, but he took alliance from Meva. And that is the time, that is in 712 AD, Muhammad bin Qasim hmm, is the first Arabic in, uh, invader who tried to enter into India through Punjab and Kashmir. He wanted uh, to annex Punjab and Kashmir to uh, the Arab Emperor. Uh, Arab, the great Arab Empire. And then Bapa, our Lalita Aditya uh, Muktapid has, uh, has started attacking Muhammad bin Qasim in Punjab to such an extent that he had to flee the country, uh, forgetting all his soldiers, forgetting his uh, army troops, everybody. He got so scared about Lalita Aditya Muktapid that he couldn't even, I mean, none of the Arab kings could uh, turn back to India or think about invading India for the next 100, 300 years. You remember I told you that Muhammad Ghazni is the first one who invaded uh, India through Gujarat uh, and he met with uh, uh, the brave queen. Uh, if you don't remember it, I will add the link in the uh, comments box in the, uh, later. You can just check, the, check out that link. And then uh, when... Um, Lalita Aditya Muktapit is trying, uh, is fighting the war with Muhammad bin Qasim and his troops and uh, driving them away. Bappa Rawal from Mewar has started uh, conducting wars on the Sin side of uh, uh, that is, uh, the current Pakistan and he started expanding the Kashmir Empire 
throughout um, both on the west and the northern sides after muhammad bin qasim had been driven away um, uh, our lalitari chamuk the pid wanted to teach a lesson to uh, the, all the arab kings and the Tur- turks who are thinking of invading india for him india is one and the great which nobody can invade that was his uh, i mean strong belief so he went and started occupying uh, turkestan uh, tushkara and all and he occupied the entire persia and went up to the black sea or the caspian sea in, in borders uh, so you can see the great um, kashmir empire which we, which is their color in the orange here right so when he's doing it on the west side how can he forget east which is being um, where tibetan empire is getting stronger day by day and try to uh, capture as much as the uh, land from the himalayan ranges so he never kept quiet he used his diplomatic skills uh, and convinced the empire from tang dynasty to support him in his invasions with tibet empire because tang dynasty was always on war with tibet and empire and both of them were trying to find out who can get a upper hand about in that entire region so with the help of tang dynasty and his uh, uh, trusted allies like uh, ashokvarman bappa rawal he uh, lalita vichya muktapir had gone to west asia and he occupied most of the parts of china west, uh, western china as well you can see that he's gone all the way up so that is how he established akhand bharat a great indian empire or the great hindu empire in 747 ce now surprisingly this king he has never uh, featured in our history books maybe in amar chitrakada and other some, some other stories folk tales we heard about lalita vichya muktapir as a good vidwan who can play veena beautifully but what about his various skills it was uh, or his administrative skills it was never figured out in our history books but <clears throat> there are accounts about his invasions his wars and his strategies uh, uh, documented by other people like uh, uh, in fact uh, what uh, lalita vichya muktapir died uh, great uh, em- indian empire is much much bigger than the what the uh, yeah. maurya dynasty has built uh, during chandragupta maurya time and in fact he this great indian empire is the one of the world's biggest empires first being the britishers next being the Ang- mongolians russians and then comes for in the fourth position uh, our lalita uh, mukta pitas pitas great hindu empire surprising isn't it my dear friends now you know why we people some historians refer him as alexander of india because he dreamt and then he went and conquered that is what they say in, in fact the iranian traveler uh, who mentions that el biruni mentions that the rivers uh, limits are the oceans but for conqueror the sky is the limit wherever he thinks that he can go he can go and uh, conquer it and that is what uh, is the uh, what lalita vichya muktapit had done and lalita vichya muktapit is a big, uh, best example of a conqueror who thought that i mean who wanted to go and explore different uh, countries different areas where he has never i mean indians have never stepped their foot in fact in the great sahara deserts or in the from the persia side or uh, africa and all these places imagine a king traveling in a, in a span of 36 years to conquer so much of empire isn't it amazing and now why he is not being captured i mean mentioned in indian history textbooks that is one question which all of us has to ask our historians or the academicians who has designed our indian history books in fact he is not just a warlord who is loves wars and conquering enemies he is also a great administrator he has amassed a lot of wealth because he is he is the one who is controlling the full silk road right from iran till china isn't it so he was collecting a lot of taxes and he's amassed a lot of wealth during his uh, um, wars uh, which he used for the benefit of the people he has established a solid education system throughout the entire akhand bharat at that point of time um, he has established a lot of good good universities good good schools where people can go and study vedas learn our uh, different arts crafts of their liking different subjects uh, like uh, plastic surgery medicine everything which was documented at that point of time and also he is very much uh, strict about the people's corruption dishonesty in people and uh, 
all the evil vices which a great empire will be tagged with so uh, for any if we, if we come to know that any person uh, has uh, uh, done some corruption or is being dishonest to him, uh, somebody else the punishment is so severe that nobody in his entire akanda bharat will never dare to do this kind of uh, i mean crimes once again i hope our indian government at least takes that lesson from lalita uh, uh, mukta peet uh, history books and implements it in today's world where we are all being bogged down with so many corrupt politicians so many corrupt officials everywhere right and he also believed that an enemy once will be an enemy forever because the dissatisfaction in his heart will never go so he always kept a st- very uh, strong eyes on all the enemies or all the soldiers whom he has captured though they, he has given them force in his own in his own army in his battalions and he trained he got his army people trained under them everything but they were supposed to shave their head in the front like uh, how uh, i am uh, showing the turks uh, hair style at that point of time so that people can be aware as soon as they see them that these are the people who been conquered by lalita aditya mukhtar but at the same time having said that i'm not i'm going to tell you one more fact here that even after doing that the turks were not unhappy or dissatisfied with lalita aditya mukhtar because of the way he used to take care of the people in his own kingdom so everybody has got their right to voice out their opinions everybody lives happily their their education is taken care their health is taken care the basic needs of people are being taken care and their art culture everything is being uh, encouraged a lot so what is do we need from a noble administrator tell me my dear friends he is also a pattern of arts and he wish encourage different religions different cultures you, i told you that he is a great diplomat right he had diplomatic ties with the bappa rawal he had diplomatic ties with esho woman and even the tang dynasty so some of the army chieftains in his army battalion are from china who was uh, who believe in buddhism so he's built a lot of uh, buddhist stupas and monuments in his kingdom and uh, he is also famous for building the martan sun temple which is being destroyed by the afghanistan in afghanistan is during the 14th century and now we can see the ruins near anantnag in kashmir so my dear friends now you might ask me how can you get so much details if you are really interested in understanding what who is lalita aditya mukta peed and what are his great uh, great achievements how he has become great you can just google it there are so many uh, historians who have done excellent research on him and translated the books in which his uh, his uh, anecdotes have been captured like kalhana's raj tarangini is the first and foremost book for uh, any uh, uh, historian who wants to talk about kashmir isn't it so it is there in kalhana's raj tarangini it is there in the iran iranian travel log by al biruni we say we talked about india and as such and it is also there in the uh, books written by the tang dynasty people uh, called the new book on tang so when people all over the place are praising lalita aditya mukta peet as a great conqueror great uh, administrator excellent people caretaker and everything then why why the question is why our indian history books have stopped talking about him i mean it's been totally erased we never even heard about his name in the history books why is it that so that is the question which uh, which takes me now and i'm leaving that question open to you hopefully you, if you have any other please let me know in the comments let us meet tomorrow with a, a, another interesting story till then bye bye take care